Hello Evo64 here for another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get your buttons flashing with MFME using a pack drive. I've just upgraded my bulbs to LED because the bulbs require 12 volts and the pack drive only supplies 5 volts. But I have kept one of my bulbs in this one because it illuminates but not illuminates too much. So... I'm going to quickly show you this website. This just shows you how to set your pack drive up so that it works with MFME uh, type of thing. So that's how you, well, this is how you connect it up anyways. Uh, I'll show you how it works with MFME. This is me wiring. It's a bit messy at the moment. Um, so you want to daisy chain your red. So, you know, you do that. And then that goes there into each one of these after the red one. Now, when I got to number six, I swapped. I had to take the wire out of number six and put it into number seven and then put the number seven into number six. And the reason why is, and I don't, the reason why I had to do that is because, and I don't know why, whoever makes the ROMs to make these emulator, uh, emulator things, Rather than the collect lighting up, the cancel it up. So I'll show you for an example. If we put on a game called Monty Python Flying Circus, this is the one I had issues with. So, and I think a lot of people will witness this issue, but since I swapped the wire around, I'm still getting that issue, but not as frequent. Because before it was like all the time and it was annoying us and I couldn't, for the life of me change it. So as you can see it works. Right. But as soon as I do that. What happens here. Collect lights up. When it's supposed to be cancelled. Right. That's the problem. So when I go into configuration. And this is what you do. You go to pack drive. Then you find out that. You know. You cancel is C, which is lamp 65, and 71 is the, uh, no, I. Collect is C, and then the cancel is M. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, why don't you change 71 to 65? Doesn't work. Nah, I've tried it. It does not work. Does not work. But if I go on to throw a wobber, um... I don't think I've changed the layout. Um, so I've got to throw a wall, but it works perfectly. And the majority of them do, but then you just get that odd one that's just a little bit confusing. Now, I want to give a big thanks to uh, MPU5 because he supplied me with the uh, information on how to do this because I hadn't got a clue on how to do it. Um, so thanks to him, I was able to do it. So as you can see, this one is working. Put the coins in here. See that cancel button lights up. So it works on here, you know. And how you do it is that when you go in thing configuration, you go pack drive, you put this to the side and then you will see on here, uh, edit mode. And then when you go in edit mode, I go all the way to here. This is where I start off first. Then I go to design. Then I go down to components list. Then I get my components list. And I just put it just there. The reason why I do that is because if you go there, it's going to highlight there. If you go there, it highlights there. If you go there, that's where it highlights. And you click on and you move that there. You go to properties, 67. And then it says shortcut O. Now, if, if there's one that says... Collect and cancel, you will see that there's nothing there. So what you want to do is you just go shortcut. You press your all, the all come up on there and then you apply that. So you apply that on there. And then when you add in a lamp in, you put lamp type in, you type the number in. So that one is 87, 87. Then you shortcut, you just tap that and then it does it. So for instance, I'll delete that as a thing so we're gonna do it 
Um, so we've got to put uh, 87 in. Or you can just paste it. Um, 87. Then shortcut's going to be O. And then just add that in. And that's your lamp on. That came on, you see. And that's how you do it. And preferably, you want to do it in the right order as well. Um, yeah. But that's just basically how you do it. And you can label them as well and stuff like that. Um, but no, it's just absolutely great. It's just a quite easy once you get the hang of it. But it's just annoying when you get those machines that just don't cooperate right. It, it is so frustrating. For me, I'm like... Urgh. Yeah, if I get any... Let's see if I can get some coins. Just to show you the collect works. Then I'll show you some other machines that I've worked on. Um, well, I've I've done the thing for... Ooh, I need one then. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it works great. So I'm going to go low, high, when it gets to a 7 it gets very difficult but I'm just going to press that, take a shot, so I'll collect prize, so it lights up, there you are, no, so there we go, so that's one money button, as you can see it works. Bop, 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 bop. So yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't know I had it then. So there you go, collect your money. And that's how you collect your money. And then on here, I've done a few other ones. So I've done King Kebab. Um, yes, I'm gonna change. Oh, I shouldn't have changed it. <laughs> no, why's the cancel light line up like that? Hmm, okay, doesn't matter. So, I've done King Kebab, and King Kebab has the collect and cancel, so I've just put it there. And the King Kebab one looks absolutely fab. Like, you've got um, because on the King Kebab, it does this like really nice sequence. Um, yeah, I do like the, the sequence that the fruit machines do. Which is pretty cool, and actually you can uh, you can actually put a hopper, <laughs> and actually get it a pair of coins as well. Some people have gone that far, and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to go that far to put in like a coin mech and to get it to pay out. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I want to go that far, but I've got a few other machines I want to build, like controller wise, more labyrinth ones, ones that are gonna house more buttons. Just for games that require more buttons. I mean, look at that. That looks so cool. And I just love that. How that one there is just there. You know, it lights up, but it's just not, like, really bright. Because otherwise, that would just stand out like a sore thumb. But as you can see, that is a really cool um, flash in it. I mean, look at that. Awesome. If you really wanted to, you could have the, the council light lighting up as the uh, Barcrest logo. But I've just left it as it is. But that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a video showing you how to do it. It's quite simple once you get the knack. But once you get the hang of it. But but yeah, I hope you like this video. Cheers for watching. Uh, cheers. Bye-bye.